हेलो एवरीवन आई एम प्रज्ञा इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी चैप्टर फाइव गेटिंग स्टार्टेड विद पाइथन इन दिस चैप्टर आई विल इंट्रोड्यूस यू अ वेरी पॉपुलर लैंग्वेज दैट इज पाइथन एंड वी विल स्टडी डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ आईडीज अवेलेबल टू वर्क विथ इट सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड पाइथन वॉज डेवलप्ड इन फेब्रुअरी नाइनटीन नाइन्टी वन बाय गॉडो वैन रॉसम एंड इट गॉट इट्स नेम फ्रॉम द फेमस बी बी सी कॉमेडी शो नेम मॉन्टी पाइथन फ्लाइंग सर्कल इट गॉट इंस्पायर्ड फ्रॉम द लैंग्वेज ए बी सी एंड मॉड्यूला थ्री लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वाई पाइथन बिकम सो पॉपुलर हियर आर सम ऑफ द एडवांटेजेस द फर्स्ट वन इज ईजी टू यूज इट इज़ वेरी प्रोग्रामर फ्रेंडली लैंग्वेज दैट्स वाई इट इज ईजी टू यूज एंड वेरी सिंपल टू लर्न द सेकेंड एडवांटेज इज पाइथन इज वेरी एक्सप्रेसिव लैंग्वेज इट मीन्स इट हैज द सिंपल सिंटेक्स एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट द कोड इज ऑल्सो नॉट टू लॉन्ग सो इट हैज अ फीवर कोड Python is an interpreted language means all the commands are executed one by one one of the main advantage of the python language is its completeness means it has all the modules in the python standard library the next advantage of python is it is a cross platform language means it is a portable language it can run on different platform it can run on windows even in unix and linux macintosh and smartphone also any programmer from beginner to advanced level can use it because it is free and the source code is also open the next advantage is variety of uses and application python is widely used in many applications like web application database application game development and system administration etc these are the some of the advantages of python which makes it popular as every coin has two sides it has also some limitations the first limitation is it is not the fastest language because it is interpreted language means one statement will execute at once so the execution time is less compared to python other programming language has more libraries so it has lesser library than c java and perl language the third disadvantage is that python interpreter is not strong enough to catch type mismatch if you are declaring any variable as integer if later you are storing string into it it cannot catch it the fourth disadvantage is that python program we cannot easily translate to other programming language because of its lack of syntax so these are some of the limitations of the python now let's try to understand what are the different ids available to work with python the first option we have is c python installation it is the default installation we can download it from www.python.org it has its own interpreter we have working environment that is gui and we have package installer also the second option we have that is anaconda python distribution according to your textbook we are going to work with anaconda distribution you can install this from this website it has many preloaded packages and the libraries and there are many other id also like pycharm vs code so in this video i will show you the first option c python installation and the second option anaconda python distribution all the ides are freely available you can download whichever you are comfortable in go to any browser and the default python distribution often known as c python can be downloaded from this link so type this link you will see this page from the given tab go to the downloads tab and depending on your platform you have to choose it i am using windows machine that's why i am downloading the latest version for the windows so click on it now click on the open file choose the option add python.exe to path click on install now and proceed with the steps the setup is successful now click on the close 
you can run the install python version from the start menu select ide that is integrated development and learning environment this will open the python shell you can see these three angles it is known as python prom in front of that you need to type the command and immediately you will get the answer it is called as interactive mode there are two modes you can work with python one is interactive mode and one is script mode so let's type one command 2 plus 3 and press enter you can see here we got the output let's try to type one more command i am using printf command to print the message and you can write the string within single quote or double quote and you can see the output in interactive mode after typing the command you will get the output immediately this is the advantage of interactive mode but what's the problem with this the output will sandwich in between the command and you cannot save these commands for the future reference now to overcome this problem we have the script mode for script mode go to file click on new file it will create one new file now you can type all the commands in this file now let's print one message using print statement after writing the commands you need to save the file so go to file click on save as and give name to the file and the extension should be py click on save and now we need to display the output of this command so you need to go to the run tab click on run module or you can press f5 button also so you can see here we got the message in this way we can work in both interactive mode as well as in the script mode interactive mode we can use when we are using some standalone commands and script mode we will use when we are writing the whole program Let me introduce one more distribution that is one more ID to, to work with Python that is Anaconda distribution. You can download Anaconda from this site. You can see this page. Now let's click on the download button because it is a distribution for Windows. EXE files are getting downloaded. Click on the open file and proceed with the steps as instructed. So we installed this Anaconda distribution successfully. Now click on the finish. After installing, you can run the Anaconda distribution from the start menu. To run Anaconda's GUI feature, launch Anaconda Navigator. Anaconda Navigator provides the following tool to work with the Python. Out of this, we will explore Jupyter and the Spider. Jupyter Notebook is a web-based interactive computing environment and Spider is also a powerful tool which provides many debugging interactive testing features. To work with Jupyter Notebook, click on Launch. As Jupyter is a web-based environment, it will open in the browser. From this dashboard, click on the arrow button next to new and select python 3. In a new tab, it will open a new notebook where you can write and run your command. In Jupyter also you can work in two ways, one is interactive mode and one is the script mode. Ok, first let's work in the interactive mode. Let's try to write one command 2 plus 3 and to see the output, you can click on control enter. So here you got the output. Check out the menus. You will come to know many useful shortcut keys and the menus also. Now let me try one more command for that. I need to insert one more cell to type the command. For that you can go to the menu. You can see here to insert cell. You can click here also or there is a shortcut key B. So let's insert one more cell. So now this is the activated cell. Let's write one more print statement to print one message. So let me write welcome here. You can write uh, in double quote also or in single quote also. You can click on run button to 
see the output or if you want to keep in mind the keyboard combination is control plus enter so let me click on this menu this time so you can see here we are getting the output we are working in the interactive mode so you can see the output is sandwiched between the commands as we are getting the output immediately after the commands okay now let's try to understand how to work in the script mode let's write some command here i am printing one message welcome to now i am printing one more message so click enter and type next command now we need to save this as a program so we need to click on this untitled type some name i am typing some name with the extension py click on rename button now it's time to check the output you can click on run so both the commands are getting run successfully if you want to check whether it is saved properly or not go to the dashboard and you can see here this notebook is saved if you want to work with new notebook you can go to file and click on new notebook select python 3 you will get one new notebook to work with so in this way we can work in jupiter notebook also okay now it's time to explore one more ide that is spider ide which is a part of anaconda navigator so click on the launch you can see this type of window when you will launch spider in spider also you can work in the interactive mode and the script mode first let's work in the interactive mode you can type any command here so i am typing one command press enter you can see here we are getting the output immediately after the command to work in the script mode first go to file and select new file and type your commands in the editor pane now let's save this file so go to file and then click on save as give it a name with py extension always create a folder to save all the files now click on save to display the output click on the run button you can see here we are getting the output in this way we can work in the script mode as well as in the interactive mode in spider also so in this way in this chapter we got to know what is python and we explore three types of id one is c python the second one is jupiter and the third one is spider whichever you feel comfortable you can work with it in the next chapter we will study the basics of python the chapter number 6 is python fundamentals so till then keep studying see you in the next video